Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be vlogging for you guys. I'm going to be staying home because I am trying to save money. So let's get right into this girly vlog. So first of all, I have to find a space for all of this baking stuff. I got this little baking set. Isn't this adorable? I got this at TJ Maxx. I also picked up this French vanilla donut coffee and they also had other flavors as well. I got this at Christmas tree shops. This was $4. They had like tiramisu and like a couple other flavors, but the packaging is like super girly and cute. I also picked up these little plastic pink plates. They are dishwasher safe, but you cannot put them in the microwave. I wouldn't do that anyways, but um, you can wash them and reuse them. You can use these for a tea party or just for photos and then the last thing that I got it almost reminds me of a Pyrex but it is not it's super cute this was only 10 bucks at Marshall's and I do need to rip this off but I hate when you rip the stickers off and that happens alrighty so the scent of the day is champagne sprinkles this is from Bath and Body Works the fragrance notes are sparkling champagne raspberry icing and rainbow sprinkles so I also need to switch out my wall plug in. How gorgeous is this nightgown, you guys? It's so pretty. I love it so much. I actually thrifted this and it's literally just goals. Like I wish everything looked as like this does. It's just so nice and floral and feminine. Okay, so I decided I want to do a little shabby chic furniture thrift flip. Well, it's not actually a thrift flip because I did find this in the trash. So I guess you could say it's a trash to treasure. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wrapping paper. This is by the Shabby Chic Collection and I got this at Marshall's. And this was only $2.99 for this whole thing. I'm going to Mod Podge this. So you're gonna also need some Mod Podge. And then also a paintbrush. I got this at the Dollar Tree and I don't know if this, this doesn't have a brand, but there's like a couple different brushes. But if you see the wooden ones, they're definitely better than the plastic. And then I also got this little roller cutter for the paper. So I don't need scissors, but you can also use scissors. Um, this little Westcott roller is from Walmart. And also this cutting mat, this is from Walmart as well. But if you don't have that or the cutter, you can still do this project. So this is what the shelf looks like. It's just a regular like cubby shelf. It's kind of, you know, worn down. I mean, not worn down, but it's just kind of like beat up with like stains and such, like a little crack in the corner. I mean, I could magic sponge it, but honestly, it would look a lot cuter if I just put the wrapping paper on it. So here we go, let's do this. All right, so I went ahead and I put the wrapping paper inside of the cubby and then creased it where it's supposed to be cut. That way I didn't have to make a mark or guess or anything and it's accurate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my roller, you could take your scissors, just roll it, be extra careful. You can do this very slowly so that you don't mess up. If you do, you can always go in and fix it or redo it. So now that that is cut out, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to Mod Podge the inside. And to make this even easier as well, you can take these out so that way you don't have to like work around and you can always trace. Now that I'm realizing this probably is too big, so I'm gonna have to recut it and then just Mod Podge it onto here and then Mod Podge over the top to seal it and then repeat for the next two shelves. And if you get any of like the dried up glue from the Mod Podge, you can just take a scraper and scrape that off and just, you know, wipe your brush or grab a new one and go over just so that there's no lumps or anything when you lay this flat. And you can take a scraper and go over this or you could take a Cricut scraper as well. You don't have to cover it in Mod Podge after if you don't want to. But I do recommend it to make it last longer and look better. 
Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. If there are bubbles, it's completely fine. It's completely up to you and how you want it to look. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to slide that in there. Let's smooth it out one more time. I did not put Mod Podge over just because, I don't know, I feel like it looks fine the way it is and I don't wanna mess anything up. Totally up to you. But I think this is really, really cute. Not gonna lie, it was super hard not to get the bubbles. So honestly, I'm just gonna leave it as is. This is my first time using wrapping paper as like a decoupage. I couldn't find my Cricut like scraper thing. So this is the results, I guess. I guess it like adds to the vintage shabby chic vibe. You could even kind of just stress it a little bit, but I don't know, I, I kind of like it. You guys, I love how this came out. Although like the bubbles are kind of annoying, it kind of adds to like the shabby chic look. The bottom one was like the hardest to do because it didn't come out, but I think it looks pretty good. Like, you know, just for like wrapping paper, you know? I don't know, this is just like a closer look. See like what I mean, like the bubbles and stuff? It was kind of hard, but I mean, I really don't care. It kind of adds to the whole like vintage theme. It looks like it's old and it's like peeling. Like obviously you couldn't tell from like far away or like if you put stuff on the shelf. This is so cute. You guys, I love how this came out. It's so cute, shabby chic and vintage, so girly. Although it's not perfect, nothing ever is. I think I'm gonna style this. And after I style this shelf, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this video up. So this is the way that I styled it. I put a lamb planter, it's vintage, it's my great great grandmother's. And then also I paired it with this bowl that I found from Salvation Army, this little lantern from Dollar Tree. And then the last thing is just this little basket purse, so adorable, and paired with this fake flower arrangement. It's very cottage core, vintage, and also a little touch of shabby chic. But yeah guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed this DIY. I hope you enjoyed this girly vlog. If you did, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of my upcoming content. And also don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. Everything will be linked down below as usual. And I will see you guys in my next lovely video.